Amen. God bless you on today. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are listening and all abroad the world. Pastor Prince here with you for yet another opportunity for us to break open the bread of life and we would have an ear to hear what the Lord would share with us on today. I'm feeling so good in my spirit. Um, We're going to be meeting from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 3, in conjunction with Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 40. Amen. Jeremiah 31 and 3. Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 40. I have this song on my heart and my mind, and and I don't normally start off like this, but I'm going to be obedient. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I'm so glad to be in the land of the living. And you know we say, I'm so glad I'm saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost feel, not the Holy Ghost that's going to make you act like you got something, but the Holy Ghost is going to make you live like you got something. Amen, somebody. The song just says, Jesus is real. Oh, Jesus is so Real to me, so many people doubt him. I can't live without him. Oh, that's why I love you so. He is real. Hallelujah. One more time, if y'all don't mind. Jesus is real. Oh, Jesus is so Real to me, so many people doubt him. I can't live without him. Oh, that's why I love you so. Glory to God. That's why I love you so. Oh, that's why I love you so. He is real. Hallelujah. I love him, glory. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Oh, that's why. Love you so. He is real. Hallelujah. Bless the Lamb of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for yet another day of gift from you to us. We thank you for the acknowledging of all the mothers throughout the world. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the anointing that is flowing right now. We thank you for the freeness of the spirit that is flowing right now. Let thy will be done on earth as it is 
in heaven, O oh God. Anoint these clay lips to speak life to your people. Anoint these clay lips to uplift and encourage your people. Anoint these clay lips, O oh God, to have us really examine what you would have for us through your word on today. Let this word fall on fertile ground. Let it harvest a harvest like never before. We give you the glory, the honor, and all the joy, both now and forever. In the sweet name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we say thank you, Lord, and amen. Good morning, Sister Prince. Good morning. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day to you, ma'am. Thank you. Would you be so kind and bless us with our scriptures, Jeremiah 31, 3, and Lamentations 3 and 40. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Yeah. Let us arch, uh, let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Amen. Thank God for the reading of the word. Thank God for the hearing of the word. Thank God for the doing, the living of the word. Amen. And if you would allow me to try to share with you on this day, it is not necessarily a topic in mind, but a message more so than anything. But if I must tag a topic, it's simply this. Let the church be the church. Amen. Let the church be the church, and hopefully it'll make sense to you in a little while. As we heard Jeremiah speak, of course, in Jeremiah 31 and 3, and he is also the author in Lamentations, where we came from 3 and 40. And Jeremiah was known as the weeping prophet. In fact, the word lamentation simply means to mourn, weep, cry, sadness. And Jeremiah was always a tender-hearted preacher. He seemed like that he cared more for the people than the people actually cared for themselves. And he is reflecting in both of these passages on just what we must do in order to line up with God's original plan that he has for us. Amen. Now, I do know and understand that everybody does not receive the word and everybody does not believe the word, and we know that everybody is not living the word, but those who choose this path, those who accept the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of Christ, this is for us. Amen. And, and, and what we have to understand is that what God has been telling us in regards to man here on earth that does not accept the message, we, as the believer, still have a duty and an obligation, a responsibility to those who believe and those who 
have yet to believe and those who would never believe. So translation, let the church be the church. Now, Jeremiah is acknowledging in the 31st book of Jeremiah that God appeared to him as of old when he was a bit wiser in his way. And it's, it's mighty funny how some of the same things that we heard younger, it didn't make sense until we got a little bit older. And we were like, oh, that's what you meant. That's what you were trying to get me to see. And we, we sometimes have to stumble along the way. But what Jeremiah is saying that God was reflecting that what you, you were young and you did some young things that wasn't the brightest moments of your life, but, but I still loved you. I, I still had a heart for you. I still had compassion for you. I still provided for you. I still made ways and looked out for you when you didn't have sense enough to know that it was me that was doing it for you. You thought it was your education. You thought it was your stature. You thought it was your finance. You thought it was whatever it was. But when it all boils down, it was God that was setting the table. It was God that, that gave you strength to earn your income. It was, it was God that gave you the mind to figure things out. It was God that gave you the ability to speak where you could make sense, be heard, and encouraged. It, it was not because of how much you think you got it going on. Because when the dust settled, none of us have anything to boast or brag about. So when he says that the church be the church when we understand that, see, I, I, I got to just tell it like it is, that Jesus didn't come in the name of religion. My God, my God, my God. Jesus is not concerned about man's denomination. I'm going to say that again, that, that Jesus is not concerned about man's denomination. Man has created these degrees of separation because if you don't dot an I across a T the way I dotted the I across the T, then you must not be saved. You must not be Holy Ghost feel. You must not hear from God. And, and we have created sectors, if you would, within the kingdom allegedly of God. But if the church is going to be the church, the only separating is the word of God. Now, if I am going to be in the word of God, whether I'm speaking in Spanish, English, Portuguese, Arabic, German, whatever the language of choice is, the word is still going to resonate wherever the word is falling. It's not up to me nor you to determine who has a passage to this. It is our responsibility that when in position, when the time presents itself, be ye ready. Be ye in position because we, we don't never know when opportunity will present itself to present the gospel. And guess what? It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about your denomination. It's not about your race. It's not about your finance. It's not about your zip code. It's not about your educational achievements. It's about do you have a word for somebody that's in a situation where it's only the word that's going to make a difference. Hello, somebody. And if the church is going to be the church, we must be instant in season and out of season. And then I kept asking God, well, well, why did you make Jeremiah so tenderhearted? And, and I, 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 I began to reflect on my own spiritual walk and my own spiritual growth, there's going to be some times, and I want you all to hear me real, real 
good. There's going to be some times in your journey, if you're not experiencing it now, you're going to be an experiencing it soon. And if you have been in any walk with God, you have experienced it before. And the first time won't be the last time, and the last time won't be the last time. I hope that made sense to you. But when you appear to be the only one who seems to be more concerned about what the will of God is being done, whether it's in your home, whether it's on your job, whether it's amongst your family, whether it's amongst your friends, you still have to let the church be the church. And I'm not talking about preaching at folks. I'm not even talking about preaching to folks, but if you just live the life, if you just love on them as God has declared that he has loved on us, I've loved you with an everlasting love. Translation, when you didn't do it right, I still loved you. When you didn't act right, I still loved you. When you didn't want to even think about getting right, I still loved you. And I kept doing for you. Why? Because the heart of God is not like man, that if you don't compromise and do it the way I say do it, I'll cut you off. God loves us too much, glory to God, to cut us off. But we can cut ourselves off if we don't examine ourselves, if we don't look in that mirror that we spoke of and, and, and look in our heart, when you go back to where we jump to Lamentations chapter 3 and 40, when it's the same Jeremiah, after he has declared that God loved us with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn me. He turns right back around. He said, now that we've got that established, let us search our hearts. Glory be to God. You can't search my heart, but I can show search mine. I can't search your heart, but you can show search yours. And if the church is going to be the church, if we're busy staying in God's word, if we're busy searching our own hearts, I don't have time to be caught up in bickering. I don't have time to be caught up in backbiting. I don't have time to be caught up in lying. I don't have time to be caught up in plotting and scheming because I'm trying to make heaven. And I hope if you're walking with me, you're trying to make heaven too because all that's going to matter is to hear the words, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Yes, I know it was a struggle for you. I know it was hard for you. I know you had weeping nights, and it seemed like the daytime would never come, but I want you to know if you could just hold on yet a little while longer and let the church be the church, this too shall pass. My God. Jeremiah is resonating with us today, he said, search your heart. Search your heart. Get right with God. And, and, and then if, 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 if I'm getting right and working on getting right with God and I'm doing all that I can, and sometimes let me help you, let me help me, sometimes you're just going to have to just sit there and listen. You don't have to sit there and try to go back and forth word for word, be on the defensive they seem like they're picking on you. No, you was picked out to be picked on because we are part of that special flower that can't be plucked out of the hand of God. So guess what? I was built for this. You were custom built for the journey that you on. No one else could do what you got to deal with right now. That's why you got to continue to let the church be the church. That's why God said in his word, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'll be in the midst. He didn't care if it was two, 200, or 2,000. But if we're going to come together and if we're going to say and declare that he is our Lord and Savior, let the church be the church. And instead of isolating yourself one from another, instead of trying to Beat the hell out of people. Let us love the hell out of all people. When we let the church be the church. I don't look at you if your money is funny and your change is strange. 
If we're going to let the church be the church, I, I'm not going to be concerned if your house is not as big as my house. And, and let's be honest, if, if we're going to let the church be the church, I, I, I'm not going to be ashamed and, and talking if you have critters and bugs in your house. In fact, if I'm going to let the church be the church, I'm going to try to find a way that I could assist you and ask you, do you have a concern about the bugs? Let me help you. You might not know what to do or know who to contact, but I know somebody. I have the resources to help you. If we're going to let the church be the church, don't walk around and see a brother or a sister in need. And you say, is there anything that I can do? No, like the Nike folks say, just do it. Some things you don't have to ask. Just let the church be the church and do what you know is right. My God. Hallelujah. When we look at this day of celebrating of mothers, mothers have that same tender heart of Jeremiah. The children are wandering, doing their own thing, and mama's sitting in the corner praying, glory. Children think they're doing it on their own, but it's the prayers of mamas and mamas, mamas, and great, great mamas, and big mamas, and great, great, big, big mamas. They're praying when we didn't have sense enough to say, Jesus wept. When it comes to letting the church be the church, he loved us all. He cared for us all. Or should I say he cares for us all. And no weapon that is formed against any of us shall prosper. Jeremiah is encouraging us. He's pleading with us. He's even warning us, search your heart, repent, and return back to God. And if we truly want to be kingdom builders, you have to look at it that you are the cornerstone. You are the cornerstone in your home. You are the cornerstone on your job. You are the cornerstone amongst your siblings. You are the cornerstone with your spouse. Doesn't mean that you're better. Doesn't mean that you should think or act as if you're better. And if everybody take that initiative, can you imagine the power of God going even deeper and wider than what's going on right now? God doing some marvelous things right now, and we're not even doing our part. So imagine if we get right church and let's go home. I don't know about you. But I'm living this life to live again. Yeah, there are some things that we enjoy here on earth, and we have a great time, but it ain't going to be better than heaven. It's not going to be better than eternity with God. And the 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 greatest sense of euphoria that you could feel right now, the greatest natural high that you could feel right now has no comparison with heaven. Don't you want to go? It starts with us by letting the church be the church. 
and letting the church say amen. And let us return back to God. This message is a message of personal challenge. Whatever you are facing right now, don't worry about everybody else involved. Worry about what you can do to let the church be the church. And it starts with our repentance. It starts with us asking God to forgive us, therefore we can forgive others. And that's the only way that the church is going to be the church. As Jeremiah said, so we got to examine our own hearts. Yeah, I could be mad at my spouse, but if I search my heart, can I stay mad at my spouse? I could be mad with my sibling, but if I search my heart, can I stay mad with my sibling? I can be mad with my enemy. But if I search my heart, can I stay mad at my enemy? I've learned something about enemies when you let the church be the church. Enemies are there by design, but they shouldn't control the flow of your spirit. And if we let the church be the church, God said, I'll keep you if you want to be kept. The question is, do you want to be kept? I want to pray right now. And I want to pray that God does operation on all of our hearts on all of our minds that we can get right and let the church be the church. Amen, somebody. No matter where you are right now, no matter what you're dealing with right now, I need you to pause just for a second and just open your mind and open your heart and let the Lord come on in. You do that right now. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus, bless his name. My soul loves Jesus, my soul. Loves Jesus, my soul loves Jesus, bless his name. Father, the name of Jesus, we're stretched out to you right now just to say thank you. We ask you for forgiveness right now, O oh God, for our shortcomings. We ask you for forgiveness for malice in our hearts. We ask you to relieve our troubled minds. We ask you to resurrect a new walk through us back towards you. Restore what the enemy has tried to destroy. Fix whatever the enemy has tried to break. 
Do it right now, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Bless the mothers, those that are sleeping in glory, and those that remain. Thank you for every one. In the name of Jesus. God, we ask you that you would create in us a clean heart, a new heart, that we can see our brothers and our sisters the way you see us, individually and collectively. Thank you for your words. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for the anointing. And thank you for the promise. Father, as we call out to you right now, keep us protected. Keep us in perfect peace. And Father, as we close out this prayer, give us the heart of true soldiers to let the church be the church. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we say thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the word. And thank God for his promise of returning one day. To each and every mother, may God bless you. May he keep you is our prayer for you. Not just on Mother's Day, but every day. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. I want to remind you that the Lord delays his coming this coming Saturday. We're still scheduled to meet here at the home, 12 noon, for a little temple family get-together. Those who can make it, the door is open. Come as you are and let us enjoy the company of one another. Amen. Please, if you can, continue to send your support. Visit the website at obnradio.com. Of course, the donation buttons. The cash app is dollar sign, OBN Radio. The mailing address is P.O. Box 891, Prairie View, Texas. 77446. Join Sister Jackie on Tuesdays at noon, Thursdays at 5 30, 857 777 4411. I love you all. There's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. So don't you dare try. I am Pastor Prince with the Temple of Refuge Ministries. May the Lord bless you and keep you as iron as prayer. And until the next time, you all be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.